this tag was created in response to a weekly challenge or weekly spin that I do with Cindy from It Doesn't Have to Be Perfect in the Facebook group to Old Crows Mixed Media. If you would like to join us, please stop by. The link is in the description. The spin is easy. We have a wheel loaded with mixed media items. We spin the wheel three times and create from the three items that are chosen from the spin. Let's let Cindy spin. Hi there, it's Cindy, and I am here to draw for June the 4th for the Wheel Challenge. And our first item will be a napkin. I'm removing the items as they're drawn because we don't want to be having the same items all month long. The second item is going to be Bellium. I'm moving Bellium. And the third item will be a colored pencil. Okay, so that's our three items for June the 4th, a napkin, vellum, and a color pencil, and I can't wait to see what you come up with for that. <sighs> Cindy's video will be linked below, but this is mine. I am Peg from Two Old Crows Mixed Media. I hope you'll take a moment and subscribe to my channel, and that notification bell lets you know when I upload additional content. So to get started with this spin, we have a three item challenge. Those three items are the vellum, the napkin, and the colored pencil. I'm going to cut a tag out of watercolor paper, use my templated card to create the little diagonal cuts, the hole punch to stick a hole right there in the center and there I have my tag format that I'm going to decorate with the three items. I want the vellum or the see-through to be through two holes on this card. So I'm going to punch two holes in the card and leave one just uh, solid. So now that I have that completed, I'm going to pull out an orange colored pencil, and this is a um, watercolor colored pencil and I'm just going to draw around the inside of those circles so that we don't have that white showing. Then I'm going to flip this card over and stencil on the back of it. I do want to cover this with, a, with this, these napkins but let's get it stenciled first. So this is just a, a sticky static Tim Holtz stencil and it lies very flat so it is conducive to the pencil and I am draw just coloring over the top of it with the orange pencil a little bit of yellow and I am going to pull in just a tiny bit of brown as well. There, you can kind of see how that looks. And it's going to be very subtle. This doesn't produce a huge dramatic stencil. So it's going to be very subtle on the background of this card. And I'm just going over some of the areas and, and adding a little more color. So I've hit, hit it with Mod Podge and I have this pale yellow napkin. I'm going to lie down over the top of that and you can see through the napkin just those subtle marks on the, the background or on the tag background. You can also see that this napkin is sheer and we're going to be able to see through it. So I want to cover the back of that napkin or the back, not the back of the napkin, but the back of this card or the second card that we're going to glue together, I want to cover that with these sunflowers. Let me just 
get that with a good coat of Mod Podge and then we'll work on the second one. Okay, so those are dry. Let's trim them up. And now I'm going to create my own vellum. I, I have vellum and I'm going to use it, but I'm also going to create my own. So I have this napkin that is covering those holes. I'm covering those holes with candle wax. And I couldn't find I couldn't find my scraper, so I used used a pair of scissors instead to scrape that wax off. You know, I'm just improvising here. I have some parchment paper pulled out. I'm going to coat this or or cover it in parchment paper and hit it with a hot iron and melt that candle wax and now look how see-through that is. So we've created our own vellum like substance with with one of the napkins and you can see through very very nicely through to the sunflower card on the back. And I'm just going to add some additional candle wax and wax the whole front of this card because some of the areas that bled over around those two circles I think it would look much better if everything were were uniform so we're going to cover the entire card now in wax so that finishes up that piece we'll glue these two together Just want to make sure it's good and dry. And I have some art glitter glue that I'm just going to glue these two together. And I have taken the, the vellum and just cut a little strip and glued it to the right side. I'm going to load the punch up with some sari silk. And I had two Tim Holtz um, words that I combined together to read Hopeful Heart. And that is a very simple, easy little tag that you can put together with the napkin, the vellum, and a colored pencil. A little bit of candle wax and some watercolor paper and you're good to go. So I hope you enjoyed. My name is Peg again. I call my channel Two Old Crows Mixed Media. Please come over to the Facebook group and join us and participate in these weekly challenges. Bye for now.